much with Andres Cortez, who is fighting back in his hometown of Las Vegas. You've competed so many times here in Vegas. My first question to you is, is it more stressful fighting at home or on the road? Uh, I, lo I love fighting in my hometown. Uh, I, I think I bring a lot of people, so it's uh, energy. I love it. I love it. When it comes to fight night, um, you know, there's no excuses for me not to do great. You know what I mean? I have all the people behind me and my whole city behind me. How do you avoid distractions? Um, I've been fighting here for like majority of my career, so I mean, all my people already know, um, you know, a couple of days before to talk to me or talk to my family. So uh, everything's on, in line. They know to give you your space uh, up, uh, a few days before fighting. Yeah. So your opponent is Abraham Montoya, who yes. fought Gabe Flores Jr. and lost a razor thin decision. He looks to give you a stiff challenge on Saturday night. How do you plan on boxing him? Um, you know, I'm different than a lot of the guys that he has fought, and uh, this is a, a test for me, but, um, uh, you know, we're here to make another statement, so uh, I think we're going to pass with flying colors and uh, expect something great that night, this tomorrow night. So with 10 knockouts, you have pretty good pop. Yeah. My question is, what did you do in training camp to prepare for this fight? Uh, everything the same, uh, just more intense. You know, we're always um, learning and trying things, and getting better over time. Just trying to add little yes, holes to yes. your game. Nutrition. But, right, and, and that's often overlooked by a lot yeah. of fighters. Very yeah. wise of you to take that into account. Yes. You're 17 and 0, you have an unblemished record. Are you a prospect at this point in your career? Or are you a bona fide contender? I think I'm a bona fide contender. Um, uh, any day I could get a big fight. There's just, uh, there's, you know, when that time comes and when the opponents want, when they want to give me the opportunity, but I know it's there. It's, next fight two fights three fights you know i'm ready so earlier this year you signed with top rank yeah. one of the major promotional companies in the world why was it so important for you to take your talents to top rank um you know they gave me the opportunity in the bubble and this is a company that i've been trying to be uh i wanted to start my career with but i got picked up by May mayweather promotion so uh top ranks definitely some uh company that i always wanted to be with but um you know, I guess dreams come true, so I'm, I'm here now, so. And as you mentioned, dreams do come true. You're on a big platform on Saturday. The, 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 the diehards know about you. The diehards yeah. know who you are. What kind of performance do you need on Saturday to make inroads with the more casual boxing fans? Another knockout, baby. <laughs> That's so, it. So you're calling it. You're saying you're going to yeah. extend that KO streak to four? Yes. Fantastic. Under three. It's, it's, it's going to be three? Under three. Okay, gotcha, under gotcha. Three rounds. Gotcha, gotcha. Under three rounds. Yep. Okay, so the fourth knockout in a row, under three rounds. We'll be looking forward to it. Thank you, Andres. We appreciate the time. Best of luck to you on Saturday. Thank you.